opinion, the only reasonable explanation is that this was a crime against property. Vandalism. Destruction for destruction's sake. For causes unknown by persons unknown. But why? That's the point. What is? Why would anybody do such a thing? There's got to be a reason. That is what I'm attempting to find out. Now, why don't you all go home and let me continue my investigation? Dad? I'm all right, Robert. Let it do as he says. Don't tell your mother what's happened. I'll, I'll tell her when I get home. Has anybody looked over here? No, whoever he was, he didn't leave any clues. Well, I don't think it was any vandal. I think he was after something. Oh, in here, what? I don't know, but something. What about the side pockets? No, I looked there too, didn't I? Yeah, perhaps the kid's got them. What would he do with a million in stolen diamonds? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps he'd give them to his mother for, for a birthday present. Now, look, just be quiet, all of you. Answer the phone, John, will you? There's no time to fool around anymore. Hello? Boss, it's him. Who's him? How many times have I told you? Give me. Hello? Well, John. Oh, hello. Have you got the goods? No, I, uh, I, I don't have them yet. Don't worry, I'll deliver. Of course you will. Only the question is, when? Well, I, I might need a little more time. I'm sorry, but you see, arrangements have been made. The shipment leaves for Lisbon on Sunday. I shouldn't want to be disappointed. Well, now, look when here. When you came to us, Mr. Mercer... We agreed to pay you handsomely for your wares, and even to advance you money for the operation. I would hate to think that you were dealing independently. No, of course not. Then it's time for you to honor the agreement. I needn't remind you what might happen if you don't. Well, that does it. Now, look, if they weren't in the car, the boy must have them. Now, Wheeler, I want you and Fitch to go and get him. You mean kidnap him? I want those diamonds! Stop them? No, just following. That's all we've been doing. I think we should probably be questioning. All we've got is a tip. We'll wait until we have some evidence. Charlie Four, Inspector Cook. Over. Let's go. Oh, there's no hurry. <laughs> Lovely old car. Did you fix it yourself? Yeah. I've been almost a year on it. It's um, an original TC. Yes, I know. Four-cylinder, 1250cc engine. Fast start and good on the turns. Do you race it? Yeah. Oh, the Hampshire Rally this weekend. Really? Oh, that's a good one. I did it myself once. I had bad luck, though. I threw a rod on the 21st hour. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so what happened to the seat? Oh, somebody cut it up. Luckily, though, I managed to be able to get one to replace it just the other day. Uh, Mr. Uh, Smith, uh, <laughs> I'll be with you in a few minutes. Um, that was very fortunate. You don't often see a TC around these days. Yeah, well, this one just happened to get smashed out on the road. Hello. Ah, hi, Dad. He did? Great. Yeah, well, everything's ready. 
Oh, uh, except for the other seat. It's still at home. Yeah, well, will you tell Mr. Adams I'll bring it round tonight? Well, I'd like to get everything ready, you know, before he paints it. Okay. No, no, we'll carry it. It's only a couple of blocks. Great. Bye. Well, why would anybody sit all day watching a garage? If they were really salesmen, they'd be out selling. They weren't watching anything. They were just having a drink. All day? My uncle, he sits in pubs all week. Doesn't make him a spy, though. It just makes him smashed. <laughs> Very funny. They've got it. Robbie, Charlie, we're being followed. What? Look, somebody's after us. Keep moving. Faster. Faster, go on. The corner up ahead. I'll cut them off at the next corner. Here, yeah, watch it. There's another car coming. What do you think? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Uh, I've spotted us. Yes, I know. Slow down. We can catch them. I don't want to catch them, Timothy. Not without the goods. Now turn around down the end here. Where to? Back to the kids. You don't think they've got diamonds, do you? I think they're involved somehow. At any rate, from now on, we're not letting them out of our sight. Well, now do you believe me? Something strange is going on. I believe you're going to drive us all to the nut house. That's what I believe. Well, they've gone, whoever they were. Of course they've gone. They were never even following us. You saw them right behind us. Yeah, right. And all they did was drive by. That's no crime. Now look, Susan, I know you like to solve things and all that, but once and for all, nobody's trying to get us, all right? It's all in your ruddy imagination. Very well, I won't trouble you again, but don't blame me if something awful happens to you. <laughs> Sorry. Lost it a bit that time. You'll get the feel of it. Well, I never will. That was terrifying. Why do we have to do this anyway? He's got to learn to control his skid if he's going to place in the rally. Right. Right, take a few more spins, and this time watch your tack. Don't let it fall below 3,000 revs. And when you get into a curve, don't brake or change gears. Don't do anything. Just steer and accelerate for stability. Right? After this, there's the Grand National Rally in the autumn. If he's got it in him, I'll know. If he doesn't, I'll tell him so. All right with you? Do you really want my opinion? I do. He wants to race. You want him to. That's the end of it. You don't need my approval. Don't we? Well, if Robbie wants to be like you, that's up to him, isn't it? Well, I haven't done so badly, have I? Oh, no. As a matter of fact, you haven't. Right, you ready? Yeah. Road book. Check. Stopwatch. Check. Magnifier. Check. Roma. Check. Clipboard. Check. Flashlight. Check. Speed tables and a spare pad. Check. Hello. I bought a bit of food and some tea. Oh, thanks. Now, where are we going to put that? There isn't enough room. No got to eat. Have you got your night clothes? Oh, did you remember to give them enough money? I did. Now, Maggie, they're grown boys. They can take care of themselves. Would all rally drivers please report to the registration area at once? Hey, that's me. Susan, you finished the list with Charlie. Thanks. You know, that car of yours won't make it, Alfie. 
It will, with my son driving. What's he going to do, push it? Bet you ten pounds we beat you again. Make it twenty and you're on. Don't worry, boy, if my son acts mean out there. It's all in good fun. He hates racing just as much as I do. Hmm? Shut up and pay attention. What a lovely group, Benji. Much better than last year. Yes, ma'am, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a rather unusual announcement to make. As you know, our route is always published in advance. It's only the timings between the checkpoints which are kept secret until the rally starts. Unfortunately, for some reason which we find unable to fathom, somebody broke into our files last evening and removed some of those master timings. Wonder what all that's about. Then. Then wish uh, the cast dispersions on any contestants. However, in order to ensure that everyone shall have an equal chance of winning, the committee of plans have voted to alter today's route. So that the actual course we shall take to Braxton will remain a secret. To be solved one leg at a time. Yeah, but that's not fair! In a sense, we shall have a sort of mystery rally. Nobody will know where they're going until they get there. How absolutely jolly! Are we going to get new maps? No, only new instructions. At each checkpoint, you'll be given a piece of paper telling you where to go next. Only the words may be scrambled or put into a rhyme. You know, that sort of thing. Well, jolly good luck to you all. See you at Bracton Castle. <laughs> Why don't we just pinch the car now? What, do you mean in front of all these people? Brilliant. No, we'll have to wait until the car's isolated, sometime during the race. Well, how can we tell when it's isolated? We don't even know where it's going. You all know where it's going. You're going to follow it. I've got your papers. I entered a car in the rally just in case. Well, I'll need a navigator. I'll go with him. One who can read. All right, Finch, you're on. Yeah, that's not fair neither. Please, Mum. Well, oh, if your dad thinks it's all right. <laughs> I don't see why she has to come. Because she's good at figuring out puzzles and you're not. Now look, Charlie, you can still handle the maps and things, but what do we want to waste our time for trying to solve silly riddles, when that's all she ever does? OK, but I think we're asking for trouble, and she sits in the back. You're a gentleman and a sport. All right, come on, let's get this car on the road. Boss, shut up! Now get in behind them. When you're ready, move in. And do what you have to do, but get those diamonds. All right. He's a bobby, that's what he is. Who is? He is! I've seen him before. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I've got a good memory, ain't I? Yeah, do you think he's tailing us? I don't like it. Maybe Just we... forget him. Just do what I've told you. We'll meet you at Bracton Castle. Now, Wheeler! We'll make sure he doesn't follow you. Now, get ready to go. Come on, Doc. We'll deal with our friend. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Testing one, two, three, four, over. Testing one, two, three, four, over. I can't hear you. What about turn the volume up? Turn the volume up. 